Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Drew from Standard Cameras and today we're going to be walking through how to build our Pinhole Mark II. So to get started, let's just walk through these couple parts here. This here is the lens board. And then we have the back plate. And then mounted to this small disc, this is the pinhole itself. We've got the front plate here. And then finally we have the shutter. So to get started, you're going to want to take that pinhole and position it centered on the large hole on the lens board itself. And once you have that about in the right spot, you want to set that back plate in there behind it. And before you press it down all the way, here you can see I'm just sort of tapping the lens board to get that pinhole into just the right position so that it's nice and centered. And once you think you've got it right, you can flip to the other side and just double check that it's nice and centered. And as you can see here, it looks pretty good, so for me, I'm going to go ahead and keep moving. You could always take it apart and try again if you needed to realign it and it wasn't moving for you. So now we're going to take these four screws and um, just partially thread them through these two parts. So you want it to go all the way through that back plate, and then you know about a millimeter should be poking through the front of the lens board. And you want to do this for all four of these screws. And it's really important that you don't screw these all the way down just yet, um, but that one millimeter that's poking out, you can kind of feel it with, your, with the hand that's not holding the screwdriver. I find that's kind of helpful. These screws that are poking out, they're going to be incredibly helpful for doing the next step, which is mounting that front plate with the shutter. So here you can see, I'm just showing you if, if the camera will focus, uh, there we go. You can see that they're just sticking out just a tiny bit, and like I said, this is going to be super helpful for doing this next step. Um, so for the moment, we're going to put this down and set it aside, and we're going to grab our front plate and our shutter. So that, sh that front plate has a small channel, and you want that shutter to just sort of slide in there like this. And because we have those four screws poking out, we can set this front plate with the shutter inside on top of those. And it's very easy to position it because those screws will kind of hold it in the right spot. And then from there, all you're going to need to do is tighten down these four screws. And that's basically it. Um, once you have those four screws tightened down, you're going to want to go in and check the tightness of the shutter. In general, you're going to want it to be nice and tight you want to be able to move it, it shouldn't necessarily be able to move freely, but in a lot of ways it comes down to preference. If you want it to be a little bit looser, if that feels better for you, that's fine. Um, and you'll probably find that's how it is if you tighten down that front plate and then don't do anything further. If you would like it to be a little bit tighter, once you feel a little bit of resistance on these four screws, you want to go back through and tighten them down about a quarter turn at a time. Um, do like a quarter turn on each one, test it, and repeat until you have sort of the desired tightness for that shutter. But once you've done that, if it feels good, that's really all there is to it, and uh, you're good to go. At this point, it's, it's ready to go. You can slap it on your camera and make some photographs. So I hope this was helpful, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.